like to share a story about that Israelite who was called as mighty warrior. Israel for, forget God again and they join their neighbors and worship worshipping the idol God. As, uh, and as a result, God gave them in the, into their enemy's hands. In every harvest season, when the Israelites are ready to gather their food for the year, like robbing bats, Midianites stole their harvest for seven long years. If Midianites like grasshoppers swarmed into the Israelites' fields and stole their grain, cattle and sheep. One day, a young Israelite was threshing grain. You know what is his name? His name is Gideon. When Gideon was threshing wheat, a stranger appears to him. He said, Who are you? What do you want? Then the stranger said, You are a mighty warrior, Gideon. God is with you. Then Gideon said, Me? My family is the weakest one in the whole tribe and I am the weakest one in my family. If you are truly an angel, please wait for me. I, I pray please wait for me and I will come back. When he comes back, he brought an offering for him and the stranger said to him, Put the offering on the rock. When he put the offering, the stranger touched with the staff and the fire comes and consumes it. And Gideon thought and said, Oh, I have seen God face to face. I am going to die. God said, You will not die, Gideon, but do what I said. Tear down the ashen bowl and the iron wall. But Gideon is so afraid that the townspeople will catch him tearing the ashen bowl. So he waited till dark to obey. And when they finished tearing the archer pole, the next morning when the people of Israel worshipping Baal saw this, they were terrified and said to, said to Gideon's father, saying, Your son was seen last night tearing down the archer pole and the idol pole. But Gideon's father said to him, If Gideon tear Baal's altar, let Baal punish him. So Gideon could not truly believe that God has chosen him. He said to God, Please God, if, if you have chosen me, please give me a sign of making this pool wet and the ground dry. And the next morning his ask was true. But he was so afraid to say to the Lord another sign. He said, Please apologize me Lord, but please give me another sign to make the ground wet and the wool dry. And the next morning, it was true. And Gideon said, Now I believe that you have called me. So he agreed with the Israel elders and he gathered an army of 32,000 people. Army. But God wanted to show the people that God alone saves his people in order that Israel may not boast against uh, uh, God that her own strength have said her. So God said, if, it, if someone trembled with fear, could turn back and leave. Well, 22,000 people left, while 10 remained. But God wanted to make sure that victory comes from God, not of Gideon's original army. So he said, whoever bowed, bows down, down and drink the water from the brook, May is sent home. So, 300 people left. So, they got to the camp of Midianites and one, one member uh, 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 said that, 